Hi, it's me again. Um, I decided to make you a video because you made one of randomness. Because <laughs> I never have anything to say, so that's why I never make them. Also, I'd like to point out, <laughs> like how I never ever do your challenges. You give me like a challenge and I'm just like, and I never do it. <laughs> Sorry about that. I love you. Okay. So also, I figure you change spots all the time and you sit in new places of your house and I never do that. So, new places for everyone to see. I always sit in the kitchen, or in the dining room. And now I'm sitting here because it's new. <laughs> Later I'm going to walk Jasper to the dog park, but today I've done nothing. Um, I need to find a job. This economy sucks bad and I can't find a job no matter where I go and it sucks. I'm getting really bored with my life so I need a job quickly. Help America. <laughs> Not that they can do anything for me. My laziness is disgusting. So, um, today is July 15th I think and I just got word from Chris and he will be coming home May 2010 for sure. So that's a long ways away. But because it's a whole year, he gets a little R&R, &R, which is rest and relaxation. They just call it R&R. &R. And it's two weeks in the middle of your deployment and you get to come home work free and you're still getting paid tax free. So he's coming home for our first year anniversary and I'm so excited. <laughs> so he's going to be here October 8th through the 28th, I think, and, well, that's, like, plus, like, three days coming here and three days going home, so he's only here for about 14 days, and it is, I'm so excited, I, I cannot believe, and I'll probably call you and tell you this before the video is even up, but I'm so excited, I just thought I'd tell the whole world, my husband, who's in Afghanistan, is coming home to see me, I mean, he has to leave again, so the grieving process is going to be, but, what can you do, at least I'll get to see him, so, that's really exciting, and that's really what I wanted to call it, or to vlog to you about, because it was something exciting in my life, which never happens, so that was exciting. Also, I was reading another Life in Style, sorry, I always read Life in Style, and um, the funniest story, okay, Robert Pattinson <laughs> got hit by a cab, but wait, but wait, there's more. You want to know what he was doing when he got hit by the cab? He was running away from screaming girly fans. Yes. That is a true story. Is that not hilarious? I think it's hilarious. I was like seriously laughing out loud to myself in my house by myself. <laughs> when I read that, it was so funny. Because it said that Rob and Kristen were dating. And now they've broken up because Rob isn't this someone else. But whatever. I'm not sure I believe the whole dating slash not dating anymore thing. But the cab story, that's pretty funny and I kind of believe it because he's retarded. <laughs> so yeah, he was like running from girl fans and got hit by a cab. And by got hit by a cab, I mean he like clipped the end as in he kind of ran into the car. But still, 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 in the story you can say he got hit by a cab. <laughs> it's a good story, right? Are you not laughing right now? I know funny. Okay. But, so I kind of planned out what I was going to say to you, but I kind of forgot what everything was. So far, I talked about Chris, talked about Rob getting hit by a gab, and let me fix my hair in this camera real quick. So I look ridiculous, but whatever. Um, I have a wedding this weekend. That's exciting. And it's at the OC, which is exciting again. I should have showed you where that was when you were here. P.S. I really miss you, and it sucks here without you back to sucking North Carolina and uh, but I'll see you again for sure um uh, I thought there was more to talk about but there really isn't and so I think I'm gonna have to cut it short so I don't mumble on forever about nothing which basically is what we do anyways but I feel for sure there's nothing to talk about this time yeah um Okay. <laughs> so, peace. I love you.